Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be talking about Valorant Patch Notes 6.11 and we have obviously a few updates that we need to get into. First off obviously Pearl, that map has been changed after being out of the map pool. Chamber might be coming back into the meta. There's been some Viper nerfs and some weapon nerfs as well to the Shorty and the Frenzy along with actually a very interesting ammo change as well for the Vandal and the Phantom. But let's now get into the actual change. We're first off actually with Breach, not with Chamber. But Breach's uh, Rolling Thunder, the Warden Visuals have been updated to provide a clearer edge to the Ultimate's area of effect. This should make it easier to understand when you will and will not be hit by the Ultimate. Just a quality of life change, doesn't really matter. Chamber. Uh, mostly Chamber is obviously the biggest one. Uh, he might be back, but I kind of want to see how he is in pro play though. So... His rendezvous, obviously his teleporter, it, it had uh, it reduces the sorry his sheriff mini gun, uh, reduce weapon equip time after pro teleport locked by 0.7 seconds to now zero seconds. So I'm pretty sure it's just instant now, which is a, which is a good sign. Trademark, that's his teleporter. No, never mind, that's his um, slow alarm bot thing. The stable range has been increased from 4,000 to 5,000, and the trap and the trap arm speed has been reduced to four seconds to two seconds. So it's a pretty good buff. And the two of the fours, the firing rate has been increased by 15%. Uh, I think that means a bit slower, I'm pretty sure, but I cannot remember. Obviously, we'll find it. Obviously, we'll have a look at the video just so um, uh, we know what we might be getting in this patch. Uh, but I'm not too sure if this is really enough to really bring Chamber back into the meta. Not really too sure. I think they need to do a couple, uh, probably a couple more things. Um, I think his. his um, his teleport, I'm pretty sure, was fine. Um, I, I, I might be a teleport. I think his teleport, well, his teleport might be pretty bad. And his ultimate is also pretty bad still. But I might be wrong about his ultimate and his teleport as well. But what am I supposed to say, really? So that's all the chamber changes. And for Viper, it is just only her, her fuel regeneration. Um, it has re uh, So they've reduced the, the regeneration per second. Now from 5% to 3.3% and they regenerate to max fuel uh, once empty. It has now been increased from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. So I'm pretty sure it's actually a buff, I think. I think so, maybe. I'm pretty sure it is. Might be wrong, but we'll obviously find out in the video. The miscellaneous stuff. Uh, when hit by, by concussing abilities, your worst fake uh, can now be visually affected. The timing of omens from the shadows voice line will come in quicker to increase your discernibility. Service key dynamics was uh, were redone and smoothed out, uh, while still maintaining a silhouette close to his body to not give it, uh, to, to not give away enemy enemy position. And we've cleaned up some of the code related to the to the uh, trajectory of grenade like projectiles, such as service shock bolt, um, sh shock bolt and recon bolt and brimstone's incendiary. Uh, char uh, changes like these help us avoid bugs as we continue, blah blah blah, I don't really care. Gameplay system updates. Uh, the combat report now shows allied days in addition to enemies days for for concuss abilities. That's a good sign. Uh, performance optimization in observer mode when frequently switching between agents who are using abilities. In tidying up font systems, uh, please report any changes, doesn't really matter. Uh, map updates. Obviously the big one, Pearl. Uh, they have adjusted B ramp screen and removed the attacker cubby. The screen of B ramp was uh, was provided a lot of mix up pressure and had proven hard to deal with on retakes. We made the, we, we made the screen shorter and replaced the ramp with a jump. Uh, this should make the position more more comfortable and more and more predictable to deal with. We've also removed the attack ramp cubby as well. This reduces the number of positions to hold the long plant from and makes the space more vulnerable to flanks. Thank God for that. So this is what uh, this looks. Well, well, this is now what it looks like now. I'm pretty sure. And um, this is what I used to. Oh wait, hang on. What the heck? Okay, whatever. Um, so that's what's new now. This is new. Uh, obviously, there's no ramp or anything like it was previously. And what was the other one? The flank or something? Like the little cubby? Uh, that was also being changed as well. So, okay. They've also adjusted the screen as well. Uh, we've adjusted the side screen to give more options to defenders. We've we've extended the screen to create a larger pocket to play from. Added, an, added a new pendable section. 
added a sack of craze to give defenders a new mix-up option and moved everything closer to be ramped to allow more utility to fit there, including smokes and stage walls, etc. So this is what it used to look like. And so this is what it looks so yeah, so this is what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. So there's a little stack there. Uh it's similar to a couple other like maps that they've done. I'm pretty sure Bine was that was one of them where they had like a little like a little like a little barrel. Uh I'm pretty sure an ace, I'm pretty sure. But it is it's like a new angle and stuff. So this is actually pretty neat. I think Opus would definitely uh, would, would definitely be using this. Um but yeah, I'm I'm I, I'm interested to see how that goes. Um, added, a, added a new cubby in B Hall. The new cubby gives defenders another position to play from. This provides extra space for defenders to reposition against against incoming utility and increase new angles to to contest B link or the common long spots uh, long plant spots. So this is what it looks. So this is what it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. Just a little cubby, a little corner basically that you have to clear to enter um, Hall. Uh, they have also widened uh, the pillar as well on B side, just a size just to make it uh, a little bit more room to work with. This should also reduce the likelihood of getting spammed as well, it used to look like. It's actually pretty thick. It's actually a thick old boy now. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 it's thick. That's all. It's, it's, it's one thick boy. Weapon updates. Uh, the weapon accuracy on ascenders slash zipline ropes. Uh, so they've adjusted the, the weapon spread, and so for Ascender, the minimum uh, spread on ropes increased to 65% of the walking spread. So rifles, that has been up from 0.8 to 1.3. The classic, 0.35 to 0.55. Frenzy as well, 0.35 to 0.52. Ghost from 0.35 to 0.6. Sheriff from 0.35 to 0.78. And the SMGs from 0.3 to 0.65, while the snipers and shotguns they have not been changed. Walking and running spread on ropes increase and match the walking and running spread on the ground. Now for the shorty, obviously. I think every every something wannabe jet um, um, jet user is going to be very sad about this. And probably also Chinese as well, because there's also quite a lot of um, Chinese players, especially obviously duelist jet players who use the shorty a lot. Um, so the changes that they made to the shorty, they have with their the the reserve amount adjusted from ten to six, which is, which is a massive nerf. The price has also been adjusted from one fifty to three hundred, which is an, another massive nerf. The damage and no fall off adjusted from twelve to eleven, and the damage at first step fall off seven meters adjusted from eight to six meters. I'm pretty sure it's a bit closer now. I think um so uh I'm pretty sure when you're six meters um you start feeling the fall off, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, surely, that's basically done now. It's gone. It's dead. Uh, and then as for the frenzy, uh, the spread in, the, the, so the minimum spread has been increased from 0.45 to 0.65. The spread curve has also been adjusted. The maximum spread has been reached in 5 bullets instead of 6. And the recoil pitch curve has also been adjusted and just and it's also now 6 instead of 5. The total recoil is lowered to compensate. Error power. I don't know what the hell this is, but let's have a read of it. Error power, also known as scented uh, biasing for us, as a tool we utilize to reward accuracy by biasing shots towards the center of the crosshair. While the system is functioning as intended for for, for stationary firing, it's been unintentionally aiding firing while while on the move. Spectres, uh, we've we've significantly reduced center biasing in these movement states. Shots fired while moving are now almost informally random within their spread cone, meaning that fewer of these shots will precisely land on target. Even so, running gun and jump and shooting kills will, will, will still happen. We um, and and we think these kills are healthy in, in close range contacts with the right weapons, but this error power adjustment should help to reduce the frequency in a, a moderately amount, particularly at long ranges. So if you want a long range running gun, um, good luck bruh. The recoil has also been adjusted as well. Uh, a handful of weapons, they've, they've increased the vertical recoil while firing on the run. This includes a Phantom from 1.5 to 0.8, that also includes a Spectre and a Vandal, and the Frenzy up from 1.25 to 1.5. And here's why I'm talking about the Phantom and Vandal ammo reserve. The Phantom, um, uh, the ammo uh, uh, adjusted has, is now down from 90 to 40. Sorry, 60, sorry, I don't know why I said 40. 90 to 60 now. 
So there'll be now 60 ammo reserved. And the Vandal, uh, that has now been gone down to 75 to 50. So that's a pretty big... I'm pretty sure that's half as well. So that's a massive nerf to both Phantom and the Vandal. Um, I expect now a lot more Sages. Maybe even a lot more Harbors. And a lot more Odins in this meta. So... Have Briar really shot himself in the foot here? Probably. Uh, bug fixes as well. There's actually quite a few. I'm not really going to go into the bug fixes, I'll be honest. They're kind of irrelevant unless you really want to read them. But here they are. If you're wondering about all the bug fixes, I'm not going to read out the bug fixes every, um, in the future. I'm just, just going to talk about all of the main changes unless it's like a really, really short patch notes and then we'll talk about it. But let's now head over now to the video. <laughs> 열심히 플레이하는 친구들을 위해 이 멋진 내가 새로운 패치 소식을 들고 왔어. 그 체인버 폼 미쳤다. 그럼 어떤 소식인지 확인해 볼까? 먼저 유언부터 살펴보자. 이봐 브리치 기계파를 다시 고쳐야겠는 걸. 브리치의 궁극기인 지진 강타 주위에 범위를 알려주는 선이 생겨. 궁극기를 피하기가 쉬워졌지. 다음은 아름답고 멋진 나의 소식이야. 순간 이동 후 바로 무기를 장착할 수 있게 바뀌었다니 완벽해. 그리고 트레이드 마크의 비활성화 범위가 늘어났고 함정의 활성화 시간이 더욱 빨라졌지. 게다가 내 궁극기 역적의 연사 속도도 상승했다고. 정말. 눈으로 보고도 믿기지 않는 거. 바이퍼의 변경 사항도 있다 하니 살펴볼까? 스킬을 사용할 때 핵심이 되던 연료의 재충전 속도가 예전보다는 느리게 충전되도록 변경됐어. 하, 안타까운 바이퍼. 이제 시간이 많이 남을 것 같으니 나랑 같이 시간 보내는 건 어때? 응? 다음은 맵 업데이트. 아름다운 수중 도시 펄의 구조물을 살펴보도록 하지. 비경사로 있는 스크린이 좁아졌고 경사진 발판이 아닌 뛰어올라야 하는 발판으로 바뀌었군. 그리고 B 사이트 앞에 있는 스크린이 넓어지며 위로 올라갈 수 있는 박스까지 생겼지. B 복도에 은신처까지 추가돼 공격팀 입장에서는 꽤나 골치 아프겠어. B 지점 기둥도 기존보다 더 넓어졌다고 하니 수비팀이 더욱 유리하겠는 걸. 마지막 총기 업데이트 총기들의 탄 퍼짐과 반동이 증가했다는데? 짐 라인을 사용하면서 총을 쏘는 경우가 종종 있었지 이제는 탄 퍼짐이 증가해 잘 맞지 않도록 변경되었으니 참고해 현대인의 필수품 COT도 바뀌었네 예비 탄약이 10개에서 6개로 변경됐고 가격이 150크레드에서 300크레드로 무려 2배나 상승했다 이제는 현대인의 사치품이라 불러야 되겠군 그 다음 벤달과 팬텀의 변경도 살펴보도록 하지 벤달과 팬텀의 예비 탄약이 각한 탄착씩 줄어들었으니 앞으로는 신중하게 사용해야겠지 아 그리고 프렌지도 탄퍼짐이 증가했다고 하니 다들 참고하라고 이제 내가 다시 부활했을 게임에서 자주 보자고. <웃음> so that's really about it for the past years. I just want to just quickly mention uh, this about the VCL. It was literally the tier two scene over in Valorant for VCT. Uh, obviously, this was just tweeted out by Leo Faria, obviously um, the the head of Valorant Esports at Riot Games, um, in response to a tweet from Bodoc. He basically said uh, details on the 2023 off season are coming, but the big changes, but yeah, but the big change uh, change comes next year with an overhaul of the tier two ecosystem with with co with competitions year round and a strong connection with Premier. I I acknowledge this year is a bit tough, but we're but we've committed to making tier two thrive. I hope so because tier two right now in Valorant is appalling. And I hope it's not like going to be what League of Legends had with the LCS and the and their play association walkout. Hopefully, that's not the case. Uh, but either way, that is really bad of me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.